was just down on the ground like that penny right there. Lights that there was something in there when he took New tonight at 11. A 10-year-old boy found this heart-shaped mom locket this weekend and later discovered it had somebody's ashes inside. Very personal item. A Hamilton family now trying to find the rightful owner of that lost locket. WLWT News 5's Emily Wood live tonight with a story you'll see only here on WLWT. Emily. Mike, the boy found the locket while waiting in line for the tornado roller coaster at Stricker's Grove this weekend. And as you heard him say, it was simply lying on the ground. So he picked it up and showed his mom. Ten-year-old James Metcalf loves to play football for the Hamilton Stars. We caught up with the defensive end before practice tonight to talk about his recent find. Sunday, Metcalf says he saw this silver heart-shaped locket on the ground at Stricker's Grove. I was looking down, and then I found it, and then I showed my mama, and then she told me to show my mom, and then she said, I'll keep it. His mom, Tanya Metcalf, says she didn't think anything of it at first until she realized the top of the necklace screws off and there are ashes inside. I lost my mom when I was 11 years old. So I know what this probably means to, means to someone. Tanya says she took to social media immediately to share the picture and hopefully find the person it belongs to. I'm sure you know it means the world to them, having a piece of their mother with them, at, you know, when they're walking around and just having it close to their heart. A closeness you cannot replace, which is why Tanya is so proud her son found this priceless piece of jewelry, and James has learned an important life lesson. I'd feel happy, and they'd feel. Happy that I helped. Very happy little boy tonight. Hoping to find that owner. So far, Tanya's Facebook post has been shared almost 500 times. WLWT also reached out to Stricker's Grove to see if anyone claimed to have lose, lost that locket, but the office was closed today for the Columbus Day holiday. Reporting live in Mount Auburn, Emily Wood, WLWT. News 5. Emily, thanks a lot. And if you out there want to share the photo or maybe get a closer look, head to the WLWT Facebook page. We've posted it online as well at WLWT.com.